Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 6 of Genesis chapter 39. So Potiphar left Joseph in charge of everything that he owned, and with him there he did not concern himself with anything except the food which he ate. Now Joseph was handsome in form and appearance. And it came about after these events that his master's wife had her eyes on Joseph, and she said, Sleep with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look, with me here my master does not concern himself with anything in the house, and he has put me in charge of all that he owns. There is no one greater in this house than I, and he has withheld nothing from me except you, because you are his wife." How then could I do this great evil and sin against God? Though she spoke to Joseph day after day, he did not listen to her, to lie beside her or be with her. Now it happened one day that he went into the house to do his work, and none of the people of the household was there inside. So she grabbed him by his garment, saying, Sleep with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and went outside, When she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and had fled outside, she called to the men of her household and said to them, See, he has brought in a Hebrew to us to make fun of us. He came in to me to sleep with me, and I screamed. When he heard that I raised my voice and screamed, he left his garment beside me and fled and went outside. So she left his garment beside her until his master came home. Then she spoke to him with these words, The Hebrew slave whom you brought to us came in to me to make fun of me. But when I raised my voice and screamed, he left his garment beside me and fled outside. Now when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spoke to him, saying, This is what your slave did to me, his anger burned. So Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined, and he was there in the prison. Joseph's enslavement lasted for 13 years and went from bad to worse. He lost his favored position in Potiphar's household and went to prison when the master's wife told lies about him. His hope for release from jail became cloudy when the king's servant forgot his promise. His future looked bleak. Despite the evidence of circumstances, God was carrying out His plan to bless Joseph and his entire family. In fact, Joseph was God's appointed person to rescue them from the coming famine. But for that to happen, he had to learn the Egyptian language and culture, develop leadership abilities, and mature spiritually. The Lord's plan made it all possible. Joseph learned two helpful lessons. First, The Lord is a faithful companion who uses life's troubles to prepare those of us who are believers for His work. Second, as we keep trusting Him and cooperate with Him, the Lord accomplishes His purposes in us and will see the difficulty differently. In Joseph's case, he was freed from jail at God's chosen moment, rewarded with a high-ranking appointment, and reconciled with his family. Adversity can be painful but the Lord uses it to further His purposes and equip us to carry out His plan. So we need to pay attention to what He's working into our lives in the midst of our trials. 